All right. Well, good morning, everyone, and uh, thank you for uh, joining us here today. Uh, a limited number of people, of course, in person, uh, but the vast majority online and, and through Facebook and other means. Um, uh, today's a, a, a very important day, and we'll be making a significant announcement uh, that uh, will help strengthen the innovation ecosystem of our province and uh, support the development of necessary skills for our students. Uh, before I jump into everything, though, I do want to take um, a quick moment uh, to thank and acknowledge uh, Corey Jansen from Alta ML, uh, who's here with us, uh, and as well, Trevor and Eric from my tax uh, organization uh, and other individuals who I won't introduce at this time because they'll, they'll be coming up to speak uh, themselves in a couple of moments. Uh, so let me, let me jump in. Um, and, and I want to do so by, by talking a little bit about the environment that we're in with respect to COVID-19. So I think, of course, as we all know, COVID-19 uh, has created many challenges for all Albertans and many challenges, most importantly, for our students as well. Uh, on very short notice, their apprenticeships, practicums, research activities, other learning uh, and in-person activities were canceled altogether or required to shift to an online model in, in very short order. And I want to take a, a moment uh, to thank and recognize and acknowledge all of the staff and faculty at our uh, post-secondary institutions across the province who have uh, risen to the challenge and who have undertaken significant efforts to move to an online environment, help our students uh, stay safe and help them continue on with their learning during these challenging times. So thank you to all administrators, staff and faculty at our institutions. And of course, uh, d despite all of these enormous challenges and these unprecedented times, I think uh, the transition uh, was, was relatively smooth and, uh, and I think that's worth noting. Uh, as well, at the height of the pandemic, Alberta's government moved quickly to provide necessary reprieve for students and post-secondary institutions. Alberta's government paused student loan payments for six months and delayed the implementation of the new performance-based funding model uh, for another time to give institutions more flexibility to respond to the pandemic. Alberta's government also moved quickly to reopen our economy so that we could ensure that our students can quickly re-enter the workforce and balance their financial needs. As we continue to move forward, Alberta's government has developed a comprehensive plan to restart our economy. Now, while we must continue to remain vigilant in the fight to protect lives, we must also move forward in protecting livelihoods. Indeed, many Albertans are facing challenging times, and you, you just have to look at the stats and the information that's available that points to this. For example, we know that Alberta has the highest per capita use of CERB and the highest instances of mortgage deferral. And so now more than ever, it is essential that we do everything possible to restart our economy and deliver a more prosperous future for all Albertans. And Alberta's recovery plan will do precisely that. By investing in new infrastructure, diversifying our economy, and helping to create tens of thousands of new jobs. An essential and critical pillar of Alberta's recovery plan is Alberta's post-secondary skills strategy, building skills for jobs. This strategy includes modernizing apprenticeship education, developing in consultation a future vision for Alberta's post-secondary system, and most importantly of all, improving the skills of our students. Skills matter and are, they are at the heart of a strong and vibrant economy. There are many initiatives that are already underway uh, that are focused on improving the skills of our students. Last year, Alberta's government uh, provided over $10 million to Careers Next Generation to quadruple the number of students that are engaged in apprenticeship learning. As well, we also provided $10 million to Women Building Futures to help women upgrade their skills and find success in new careers. We also announced a new and innovative funding model that will ensure students graduate with the skills 
knowledge and abilities that they need to find successful and rewarding careers. And that brings us to today to announce another important step in building the skills of our students. And so today I am very proud to announce that Alberta's government will be spending five million annually to expand work integrated learning programs with MyTax. Work integrated learning is critically important to our students. And we know through a lot of the uh, research and evidence that exists that students that have the opportunity to participate in work integrated learning opportunities have faster transitions to work, earn higher incomes after graduation, and more broadly, find stronger career success. So uh, in essence, it helps to strengthen their ability to graduate job ready. Furthermore, uh, this type of training is a key link between employers and students. Uh, in many conversations that I often have with employers, one of the challenges that uh, uh, employers face is connecting with students, finding the right mechanisms and vehicles to hire interns and to develop co-op opportunities. And today's announcement will help achieve that goal. The internships and the funding to MyTax will fund a number of specific internship opportunities through six very specific streams. I won't go into too much detail today, but I'll just uh, highlight those streams. The first is the Accelerate stream, uh, where interns work on a peer-reviewed research project to address a business challenge that is faced by an industry partner. There is also Accelerate Entrepreneur, where student entrepreneurs develop research or technology at the core of their business supported by an incubator. Uh, Accelerate International, whereby interns participate in global research collaborations. Elevate, where postdoctoral fellows tackle sophisticated research challenges. Business strategy internships that support businesses in restoring or modifying their businesses to respond to COVID-19. Uh, and the assessment internship initiative, whereby interns assess a host organization's technology needs and help identify paths forward. And these internships uh, will be focused in key areas of economic uh, growth that align with Alberta's recovery plan. They will focus in areas of agriculture, aviation, energy, tourism, and more. Uh, of course, not only do internships benefit students, but they contribute to the economic productivity of our province and help industry partners achieve their innovation potential. This is a smart investment, and we want to set our students up for success and provide employers with Alberta-made talent. By aligning internships with key economic sectors and emerging industries, we are driving research and innovation and helping to grow and diversify our economy. Investments like this will pair job creators with uh, future employees and will turn ideas into new careers. As we move forward with Alberta's economic recovery, it is essential we double down on efforts to set our students up for success, build a highly skilled workforce, and forge stronger relationships between employers and post-secondary institutions. Alberta's government continues to invest in one of our most important resources, our people. Smart investments like this ensure our students and researchers have the skills and mentorship they need for the jobs of today and, more importantly, the jobs of tomorrow. So uh, with that, I want to thank you again for being here. Uh, I want to take a moment to turn things over now to uh, John Hepburn. Uh, the CEO of MyTax to provide some additional comments. So, John, when you're ready, thank you very much. And of course, I have to remember to unmute myself. Um, I'm sorry I can't be with you today for this uh, wonderful announcement. Uh, I'm uh, trapped in my downstairs spare bedroom here in Vancouver, but that's the reality we're living now. Thank you very much, Minister Nicolaides. That was a, an excellent summary of the great work that we hope to do in Alberta, continue doing actually. I'm very happy to represent MyTax. Uh, we're a national not-for-profit organization uh, whose goal is to foster growth and innovation in Canada. MyTax is 
focused on solving business challenges with research solutions from the best academic institutions, and Alberta has many excellent academic institutions. MyTax connects businesses with top post-secondary talent so companies can innovate, expand, create jobs, and help grow the economy. Across Alberta, we already work with universities, colleges, and polytechnics to find precisely the right interns and research talent to help businesses like Alta ML grow. The funding investment announced today will support Alberta businesses to help solve their challenges, address impediments created by COVID-19, and lead to jobs for Albertans. And I'll stress that we will provide thousands of internships in Alberta thanks to this funding and leverage this money up through our partnerships to just under $70 million of investment into innovation in Alberta. At the same time, these MyTax internship opportunities provide Alberta students like Frenzy Clement, an intern with Alta ML, who you'll hear from shortly, with invaluable work skills. We're very grateful for the province's investment in MyTax, and we look forward to playing a key role in helping businesses throughout Alberta innovate and grow, and providing students with high quality practical experience and business acumen that will help them secure employment, hopefully in Alberta. Thank you to Premier Kenny, Ministers Nicolaides and Schweitzer, and to the government of Alberta for your confidence and support for my tax. And finally, I'd like to recognize that uh, we lost a giant of Canadian politics uh, the Right Honourable Don Mazankowski, and I want to express condolences to all Albertans, in fact, all Canadians, on behalf of my tax. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, John, and thank you for being here uh, virtually with us today for, for today's uh, important announcement. Um, and you mentioned um, Fincy Clements, an intern with my tax, who uh, has some very unique experiences to share with us here today. Uh, and I just, uh, before I introduce Fincy, I, I want to um, uh, j just reiterate some of the points that you mentioned uh, and, uh, and highlight once again that today's investment will really help to bring Alberta up to par with respect to uh, other jurisdictions. Indeed, I know that uh, many other provinces uh, provide a high level of funding to MyTax and, and to equivalent organizations, uh, and Alberta largely has lagged in this area. And so I know that today's uh, announcer will, will be uh, a game changer that will help us to leverage uh, federal funds and and support uh, uh, over 1,200 interns a year through this important work. So uh, I'll hap happily to turn things over to uh, Fincy, uh, again an intern with MyTax, to say a few words. So Fincy, when you're ready. Thank you, Minister. Hello, everyone. I'm so thrilled to be part of this announcement by Government of Alberta about the support to MyTax. My name is Frenzy Clement. I'm a MyTax Accelerator Research Intern from the University of Alberta, currently working in the data science team at AltaML. AltaML is easily one of the best AI scale-ups in the country, delivering high-quality AI solutions and at the same time nurturing the AI talent in Alberta through mentorship. In my eight-month internship at AltaML, I have contributed to multiple industry projects across various sectors, majority of them geared towards improving business processes and also translating into cost savings for them. Through this MyTax internship, I was able to get hands-on experience on real industry problems, which is quite different from what is taught in academia. There are many practical challenges, starting with getting the right data, applying the right techniques, and most importantly, presenting these results back to the business in a language that is understandable and interpretable by them. This MyTax internship gave me a new perspective in, in understanding the nuances in applying AI solutions to real industry problems. 
in my time at AltaML, I gained new business contacts, gained mentors, who has helped me to evolve into an industry-ready graduate. I've gained confidence and new skills that will help me land a job in the, in the technology sector in the near future. I would like to thank um, AltaML, uh, MyTax, Government of Alberta, for this wonderful platform that you're providing for researchers to bridge the gap between academia and industry. Thank you for making me part of this event and have a great one. Uh, thank you, Fincy, so much, and uh, thank you for those uh, incredible words and for being here today to participate. Uh, and indeed, I think what you said really sums up today's announcement so eloquently, which is about helping to create stronger bridges between uh, um, academia and industry. So thank you again. Uh, I'd now like to uh, turn the floor over to uh, Corey Jansen from Alta ML to uh, provide a few remarks as well. Thank you, Minister. At Alta ML, we think of the MyTax program in perhaps a bigger way. To us, this is about the commercialization of intellectual property and new ways of thinking about IP. Traditionally, you know, most research was done in university, and then you try to figure out how to transfer that out and get into industry. That's still very important. But equally important is this new emerging trend to actually have industry-led solutions where we can build the relationships with academia and that talent pool that comes out of it. In these hard times, there's been much talk about the brain drain from Alberta. And I can tell you from first-hand experience that this program has kept some of the best and brightest working right here. We've had situations where uh, Rockstar data scientists who have offers from Silicon Valley or elsewhere in the world. My tax was actually that bridge where we found out about these opportunities and that connection with the profs, with the researchers, and we're able to bridge that gap to make sure that they stay uh, and can be part of our team. To the interns, we've seen firsthand that being part of that team, understanding our culture, understanding the type of meaningful projects that we have to work on uh, gives them that soft landing to know the opportunities that do exist here in Alberta. And from our point of view, we actually view this as a competitive edge. By going in and being able to build those relationships early, it's almost like you get a four to eight month uh, job interview where you really get to know that person and you can build that relationship. I, I, I sometimes talk about this being almost, you know, so much of a competitive edge that, you know, we've really doubled down on building the MyTax program into a core element of, of our hiring process because if we can actually bring in some of these amazing researchers, uh, we hope they actually never hit the job art market that they can, we can convince them to come stay with us on our team. So whether it's a uh, master's or a PhD level or working with the polytechnics, We've taken my tax interns from both levels. Um, we really look at this as a win-win-win. It's good for academia. It's great for the researchers. It's great for government because we're actually getting return on those dollars that we're spending at post-secondaries. And it's a competitive edge for us in the private sector. We applaud and thank the government of Alberta and my tax for providing this opportunity. We think that this is one big step towards creating high paying jobs and keeping those best and brightest right here in Alberta. Thanks very much. Corey, thank you so much. It's always a pleasure to, to hear you talk about um, 
uh, developing the research uh, and innovation talent of our of our province. And I uh, want to thank you for uh, the work that you and your organization have done thus far to achieve that goal. And I think what you said is particularly important as well about the retention of that talent. Uh, we, we can develop the talent, but we need to ensure that it's, it's retained here. So thank you so much. Um, so I, I think we'll look for, uh, take, uh, move over to some questions. Yeah, operator, if there's any questions, can you please put through the first caller? Awesome, thank you everyone for being here. All right. I guess there's no questions. All right. Well, thank you all for being here today.